Well, here we are at the sixth annual Hyundai Learning Sports Benelong Cup here in at the Ride Sport uh, Community and Sports Centre. And the man whose idea it was way back in 2010 for the Benelong Cup is Mr. John Alexander, the member for Benelong, of course, former Australian tennis great. John, great to have you here, and have you enjoyed this year's Benelong Cup? Uh, yeah, it's been great, as uh, have they all been. Uh, we've grown it a great deal from the uh, first test match with Korea. Uh, this year we've got eight teams represented, and the standard of table tennis has just been fantastic. Tell me a little bit about what your thoughts were when you first came up with the idea. What did you have in mind? Uh, the first cause uh, was out of a concern that uh, kids of uh, Chinese and Korean background weren't engaging with other students uh, through sports. And I met with Hugh Lee of the AAAB and uh, we discussed the possibility of getting a table tennis schools program uh, designed to get kids of different ethnic backgrounds to engage through sport. And he was very supportive. The, the Asian Association uh, of Benelong got together, got behind it. Uh, we agreed we'd try to raise the money. Uh, I went to Hyundai, who are headquartered here in Benelong, uh, to put forward this schools program. And uh, after only a couple of minutes of the presentation, I was told that was enough. And I didn't think I'd been given a, a fair hearing. Uh, but Mr. Lee uh, said, I love the idea and we'll sponsor it. Uh, I then thought, you haven't asked how much money we want yet. But uh, he was very, very generous and agreed to provide tables in all 40 schools. Uh, the good Lord moves in mysterious ways. A, a week later, Peter Marriott said, we've got a test match with Korea and uh, Australia. And I asked where it was going to be placed. We don't have a venue yet. And I said, we could have a venue here in Benelong. And that's where, the, uh, with Peter's uh, engagement, the Benelong Cup competition began. Uh, and then the, uh, the coach uh, for one of our teams, uh, Corinne, uh, suggested uh, that we should invite China uh, the next year because the, the women's coach is of Chinese uh, heritage. And so that's how the uh, uh, growth of the Benelong Cup commenced with, uh, in the second year, China and Korea playing with Australia and then Japan and uh, other countries have joined us. Yes, and then of course this year we've also got a, a team from Oceania who are out there in the uh, in the middle at the moment taking part in a game against uh, the second Australian team. And John, in terms of, of what you were hoping to achieve with in, engaging some of the younger play, people in this community, has it been what you thought it would? Have you got the results that you were hoping for? Uh, yes, if you were here on Friday and saw the uh, 40 schools represented, uh, a terrific uh, cross-section of our community, playing sport, uh, engaging. Uh, when the kids were asked what was the best thing about playing in the Benelong Cup schools competition, uh, the first answer was making new friends. And I think that said it all. And uh, it's uh, happening you know, week after week within the school. Kids are playing table tennis and in, in playing with other kids who they might not normally have engaged with. So that's the real purpose. Uh, we are, a, I think, a poster child for multiculturalism uh, in Benelong and uh, I think this, the use of sports uh, in this way uh, has just shown what the power of sports really, uh, really holds. One of the big challenges confronting not just sport but community general is in 2016 getting people off the couch and out to support uh, events like this. How do we get bigger crowds here on, uh, on the weekend because I mean the standard of table tennis here is world class and we've seen some world class players we need to be able to get more people to come along and support it, don't we? Yeah, that's it. exactly our next task, is we've got the best product, we've got great players, we've got uh, uh, the need now is to engage with our community and get them to come and support their teams. Uh, we would like to see this place full. Uh, we had a little bit of an interruption with our idea of marketing this year, a thing called an election that was called for the 2nd of July, so probably when we should have been concentrating on marketing uh, this event, uh, we were marketing ourselves. Uh, but next year, there'll and be successfully, no, by the way. No, no, no excuse next year. Uh, so we've got some good ideas on how to get uh, tickets sold and how to get people along to enjoy uh, this great spectacle. Well, it is a fantastic idea, and the longevity of it 
proves that it is a success and that people do love it. Let's hope that it gets, goes from strength to strength. And this year we are guaranteed of having a new winner, Japan or Australia. I think it has to be Japan now and they've never won it before, so that's a great result. John, uh, look, thank you again on behalf of the table tennis community for your initiative and for your continued support. And let's hope that this event uh, goes from strength to strength. Well, thank you very much for your help.